Hi guys, it's Yolanda. I am here with um, my faves video. I was actually tagged by two people. I was tagged by Shoe Princess One, that's Bridget, and I was tagged by Jessica. And okay, Jess, please forgive me. I'm gonna spell your name because I know I'm gonna mess it up. Her YouTube channel, uh, P U A K A L E H U A, and I know all of you know her. So I think I'm supposed to um, tag other people, like tag your it, right? But okay, I got tagged by two different people and there's so many people that have already been tagged. I'm not going to tag anybody, but what I'm going to do is say, if you watch my video and you want to share your top 10, top 20, top whatever, do it, please. And just, just put on there my, my faves. Um, there, I think I'm already too late to catch anybody who hasn't been tagged yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to get going because I actually got, uh, 21 and, um, I'm going to go through them real quick. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my very, very first thing. And let me tell you that some of the things aren't scrapbooking items, but they are something that I either... Uh, drink or use or have while I'm scrapping and it's part of my ritual it's part of what I love to do or love to have when I'm in my craft room okay so my very very first thing ever would be my coffee okay so here you go I just brewed some it's my cup of coffee and along with my coffee I always have my coffee mate hazelnut creamer um, I have tried just about every other Coffee Mate uh, flavor and every other one, International House, all those others. And I always come back to this one. Always, always, always. I can't even tell you how many bottles I've wasted by trying other stuff. I always come back to this. So when I'm ready to craft, I brew myself a fresh cup of coffee and I'm good to go. Now, to keep my coffee warm because I don't drink it super, super quick, I use my candle warmer. So this would go along with my coffee. It's a, just a candle warmer. It's called a cozy up warmer. Some people use them for those big, um, for the big, big jar candles. I just use it to keep my coffee warm. Plug it in and put my coffee on top. Okay, so let me cross that off. All right. Next thing would be music. Um, I listen to music. I have it going if I'm not watching a movie, or um. um something on Netflix. Well, that's my next one. So let me, okay, forget that. Music. I love music. I love Florence and the Machine. I love Amy Winehouse. I love Maxwell. I love Sade. I love U2. Um, I love, oh goodness, music. Just any kind of music. I love it. I love it. And it helps me feel inspired and um, to enjoy my crafting time. Okay, so I mentioned movies. I love Netflix. I adore Netflix. I um, have had Netflix for quite a long time. Actually, after winning a free year membership um, on The Ellen Show when she was doing her 12 Days of Christmas, I won. Um, I was part of the audience and I won. Actually, me and my three older children, we all won a year membership to Netflix and portable DVD players. So I've had Netflix ever since. I stream it instantly on my laptop, and then I also get um, the discs. So Netflix. Okay. Um, my next item would be the Michael's Little Dollar Spot, Dollar Fifty Spot Pink Birds. Okay. I heart these birds like nobody's business. I know you've all seen them. You've bought them. Now they have them in a couple other colors. But I probably, I hope the glare's not too bad. I put these little birds on just about everything. I love them. So that is probably um, one embellishment that I use on um, just about every project. Okay. Um, the next thing will be my um, art glitter. It's, that's, it's called uh, the Art Institute. I've been using this glitter for at least 15 years and this glitter to me is the best glitter um, on the market the best glitter that you can use and um, I love it so the Art Institute glitter 
Okay, um, my next thing would be Kaiser Craft um, acrylic paints. I bought these a really long time ago when um, my now closed scrapbook store started carrying them in every single color and I'm not kidding these paints go on so smooth they're so creamy and rich and oh my gosh and the colors these are just three that I pulled out real quick and look at it, it's a pretty cool color combination but um, yeah Kaiser Craft the best um, acrylic paint on the market okay um, the next thing will be my brayer I love this thing I've had this one I have about three of them this one sits on my tool caddy on my desk and um, I love it because when I glue something down I will put um, my craft sheet over it and then run over this to really smash it down really good like if I'm gluing um, for instance I'll show you like when I glued on the hearts to the back of this little book I wanted them all smooth and nice and flat and to squeeze out all the excess glue underneath of, from the heart and so I'll use my brayer so I love 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 my brayer okay um, the next thing will be if I can find them on my desk oh okay here we go my tweezers I just adore these tweezers they're super sharp and pointy you can see that I've had these a really long time. I got them um, from the company that I used to work at. My husband still works there. But um, I can't remember if I got them when I worked there or when he said if he got them for me. Anyways, I use them for everything. I use them to peel off um, the liner off of the double-sided tape. I use it to pull things through little holes or, you know, help me feed things through stuff like ribbon and lace and stuff and so my tweezers absolutely love them um, my next thing is the corduroy distress ink pad um, by Tim Holtz and I have the brushed corduroy I love this color I um, have all the colors and I you know we all tend to use the same the walnut stain or vintage photo but I tea dyed some tags recently some manila tags and this just finished the edges so beautifully that after that I was hooked on it and um, I use this to no end so my brushed corduroy ink pad okay um, my next thing will be um, Stampin' Up! and not only because I'm a demonstrator but I've been a Stampin' Up! customer sorry for all the shadows I, I had no room on my table to share all this stuff so anyways Stampin' Up! and like I said not just because I'm a demonstrator I've been a customer of Stampin' Up!'s for 17 years since this is how I got into crafting I went to a Stampin' Up! party that my sister-in-law my now sister-in-law had and I literally spent the whole entire workshop with my mouth um, hung open jaw on the table just amazed at what you could do with paper stamps and ink and I've been in love with the craft ever since but I love how everything coordinates, um, the inks coordinate, the paper coordinates, the stamps are great quality, great buy, and um, I love them. I love Stampin' Up! Okay, let me move this out of the way because I have no room on this table. Okay, um, my next thing would be um, my three favorite adhesives when it comes to... Um, uh, like the glue wet type with the exception of scotch adhesive, but these are my go-to glues the paper Mod Podge by plaid and it's not that the others aren't for paper um, But this specifically says paper Mod Podge It's not like the original one and this is a little more watered down It's not as thick to me as the original Mod Podge and I love it. I use this for um, adhering uh, paper to chipboard all the time this is mainly what I use and then I love the studio um, the Claudine Helmuth the studio the gel medium and um, Liquitex um, I go through this quite a lot I love it I love this one and I, I you always use the matte gel and for instance I use that on this mini book also to attach everything and it just it leaves everything smooth and you can go back over and paint on it, write on it, anything, and I just love it. So, okay, move those out of the way because I'm getting filled up over here. 
Okay, um, the next thing will be um, canvas fabric or felt, wool felt and muslin. I didn't have a piece right down here with me and I didn't want to go upstairs. So um, fabrics, I love canvas. I love to use it in projects, just cut up you know, little pieces. It's great for die cutting, painting on, anything. And it just gives such an organic um, look to your project. I love that. Okay, any type of fabric and wool felt as well. Okay, um, punches. I'm an old school punch girl. I have quite a collection of punches. If you've seen my craft room tour, if you've, um, um, yeah, if you've seen my craft room tour, <laughs> I have a gazillion punches. I love them. I have every shape and size you can imagine, and I won't ever um, get rid of them or not use them. <laughs> I love punches. I heart punches. Okay, uh, the next thing will be. Um, these stamps and I have a little bit of an addiction to um, Cat's Life Press and anything that's a handmade by stamp okay so the reason why the Cat's Life Press is because a lot of these that I buy there okay like this says handmade art and it says buy and it gives you room to write your name and then it says this one-of-a-kind piece of art is a unique expression of the artist's inner life limited edition they just always say really cool things so I have one that says handmade art handmade card quote from today I love that I use that in my journal all the time when the kids say something funny or anyone or I hear a song lyric, anything, I can just write it down and who's it's by, who it's by and the date. And this is notes from today. This is also great in a journal. I have other Cat's Life Press, but that's just what I pulled out right now. And many, many, many moons ago, there was a stamp company called Snake Oil Sam. And at one of my very, very first stamp conventions, I bought this and it says, please do not bend. And there's glue right on his little crack. Okay. And I don't know if you can see very well because the glare. I'm so sorry. It says, please do not bend. It's a little guy bending over and you see his little butt crack. I adore that stamp. And um, I have a couple of them from Snake Oil Sam that I just, uh, just love. So anything from Cat's Life Press or that's handmade by. Or like this, like I stamped this on the outside of an envelope. Okay, so that's that. Okay, uh, LA is totally awesome. This is a 99 cent store find. It's great. It's what I use to clean my stamps. It's acid free, bleach free, um, ammonia free, the whole nine yards. So it's great to clean your stamps. And I use it to clean off my desktop. I use it to um, clean off just about everything in my craft room. And I love it. I love it. And it's 99 cents. And it's a huge bottle. Whoa. Sorry. Okay. Um, the next thing would be... Where is it? Oh, foam brushes. Okay, foam brushes. I use um, these like crazy for applying my glue, um, my paint. And I love them because they're inexpensive. They're... Um, they work great and if I don't feel like getting up to clean it I just chuck it in the trash can because I buy them when they're like I don't know 20 for a dollar or whatever they're out, outrageous deal you get from Mike's well let me give you a little tip what I do if I'm working on a project and I'm gluing stuff together and I know I'm gonna use like I'm not done I'm gonna have to come back I put my brush in a ziplock and I close it up and then it stays wet as you can see, it stays wet and doesn't harden, and it's still good to use. I've had this in this bag for at least three days, and it's still perfectly wet. It hasn't hardened at all, and I can go back and use it, and then chuck the bag or, or chuck the brush, whichever comes first. Okay, so... Okay, it's that one. Um, the next thing would be... Uh, two paper lines that I love very much. Oh, here we go. This little hand stamp got covered up. This is also by, um, was this Snake Oil Sam? No, this was by Judith. 
But look at, it says hand stamped and it's got like a little hand holding a rubber stamp with hearts on it. So, uh, I don't know if I'm making it worse by doing that. Anyways, like I said, back to that other fave, anything with a hand stamp. Okay, paper. My ultimate all-time favorite paper company is Basic Gray. This is all I had right behind me that I pulled out. It's the hopscotch paper. It's this this one isn't particularly my favorite, but I love Basic Gray. They are um, they've always been a step ahead of the paper companies in their designs and their um, cool prints, and um, I love them. So Basic Gray. And then I love Authentique. Um, I love their colors. I love their style and um, their prints. And I love the quality of the paper. So uh, Authentique and Basic Gray. Okay. Let me get that out of the way. Um, uh, the next thing, I don't have it on my desk, but it would be die cutting machines, manual and electric. I love my Big Shot. And I have the one like Gina, the old one, the turquoise one. I got it on clearance at a scrapbook store for like 30 bucks quite a while back. And the only reason why it was on clearance is because the new ones were coming out and they were going to be black. And my turquoise one works just like your black one. <laughs> so I love my Big Shot and I also just adore my Cricut. I use a Cricut for quite a lot of projects, um, craft related and kid related, school related school project related and I just love it I think Cricut um, just you know we all adore our Cricut so I just I just love it love it love it love it okay um, and then the last oh let's see I'm down to three I did do 21 I'm sorry okay I'll do the next one um, is any publication by Somerset anything any mag by by Somerset. This is Somerset Studio. This is Somerset Memories. See, stuff's falling everywhere. Somerset Memories. I also adore Somerset Apprentice. It actually has um, full projects by, it's just like a class in a magazine and full projects in there. So I love anything that is put out by Somerset. Okay, my next one, and I love this book. Um, I have the Daring Book for Boys that I bought a really long time ago and then the Daring Book for Girls came out and I never bought it and Ali Craft 562 um, Alicia here on YouTube she found this and she sent it to me okay if you don't have this book you need to get this book it is informative it's um, uh, funny it's smart it's everything it just it's chock full and I wish I could open it up right here but let me just tell you some of the titles um, okay look at 14 games of tag um, uh, stories about brave women stories about spies how to play jump rope how to play tetherball games to play um, you know the games the um, you know those games where you do your hands like this like oh Mary Mac 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 okay um, how to play those and different songs to sing with it. Um, washing your car, how to wash your car, how to use vinegar, how to fancy up an apron. I mean, it's just awesome. I love it. It's just the best book. Words to impress. I did a couple of words to impress um, in one of my videos. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Uh, how, to, how to clean the shell. How to make a daisy chain. How to make a kite. How to fly a kite campfire songs, building a campfire, explorers, see, okay, I guess I'm not going to find it, how to make a friendship bracelet, anyways, okay, it's a super, super cool book, okay, so, down to my very, very number one of 2011 would be Pinterest, okay, if you haven't been on Pinterest, which I know, you know, Pinterest, to everyone's heard of it now, but when I first started doing YouTube, I came to YouTube for all the inspiration. I couldn't believe the things you could find on YouTube, that you could learn on YouTube, that you could do on YouTube. I was amazed, which is why I started doing videos. But um, it's just not what it used to be. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm like, 
want to learn something new. And then along came Pinterest. So Pinterest is uh, just full of inspiration and ideas, not only for crafting, but for home, cooking, for beauty, for style, for everything, everything, music, everything, everything, everything. I just love Pinterest and I, um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so that would be my number one for 2011 would be Pinterest. And, um, I'm on Pinterest. You can follow me on Pinterest under Yolanda Pasias. And I'm doing actually a Pinterest inspired video series so that all those cool things we pin, um, I will actually see them come to fruition. Instead of just pinning, I'm going to make them happen. So anyways, thank you, Bridget. Thank you, Jess, for pinning, of pinning me. Look at, see, Pinterjection. <laughs> It's like you can't have a conversation. I read that little funny quote on Pinterest. Uh, you find that you can't uh, have a conversation without mentioning Pinterest in there somewhere. Okay, anyways, thank you both for uh, tagging me, okay? And so, like I said, I'm not going to tag a specific person. I want to hear from all of you. Share what... Um, Share what you love. If it's five things, if it's one thing, if it's two things, share it. But anyways, those are my faves. That's my top 10 for 2011. And thanks for watching. Super long video. All right. Bye.